and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I want to take a look at the market and just review a few things here today. You know, I teach people my gap method in a class once a month, and I use the system, and the system is there for a reason, to help me look and stay focused every day on what to do. Today, there was nothing to do that met my criteria, therefore, we didn't trade. I understand that people, and I'm saying traders in general, retail traders, want to chomp at the bit. They want to trade, 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 trade. They always want to get something right away every single solitary day, and I get that. I 100% get that. But the fact is that I developed the system so that I wouldn't lose on days where there wasn't anything good, and that I would look for something that had a high, 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 high win ratio. Because again, there are some days in the market, it's rare of the 200 plus trading days of the year, it's rare, but there are some days where there isn't anything good. So what did I say today in the room in the morning? The first thing I said out of the gate is that the market's gapping up and this isn't a good long and the play today is to short the market on a gap up failure. I did not do that because I do not short gap ups, but if you did it, it worked. We're already in trades, okay, options trades. And so I told everybody, let them play out. But as far as the day trade today, there was no play in here to do because you can't go long. It was not a good gap up, which I'll show you in a minute. And again, to short this doesn't make any sense either because you can't get the right entry. Even though I said, if you want to do this, if you're desperate for a trade, I said this in the room, this is the play. I was right. So getting back to what I said at the beginning, having a focus, a set, set focus is extremely important if you're trading every day because you can very easily on any given day lose focus because you're chopping at the bit to make money. This can happen if you're losing because you're desperate to get your losses back and to start making money. It can also happen if you're winning, okay? Everyone's doing really well this year with me. So people are chopping at the bit to keep going, going, going. Some days you have to take a break. Some days you have to wait it out. That's just what it is. And having that type of uh, discipline, okay, and that mentality that you're going to only train when you get the good ones, got to only train when you get the good ones, really actually will help you do better in the long run. All right, you'll make more money on the days when there is the good ones if you lay low in the days when there's not good ones, if you know what I mean. And I, I know that's hard for people. It's not hard for me. You know, it's hard for me to tell people that in the room when I'm running the room because I know people are expecting something every day. But I do teachings and we talk in the room then on the days when we don't do anything. That's, that's what I have to offer people that are in the room that we don't trade on days like this I teach. Because it just doesn't make any sense to just go after something, whatever. But I read the market extremely well today. I said, this is what's going to happen if you want to do something, but this isn't what I do. And again, I have criteria. I have this rule. I have a system. I developed it. I developed it for a reason so that I could win, so that I could be successful. That's the whole point, you know? And that's the whole point of having a system to begin with. Now, let me just blow this up here. Market's just so weak. There's no buyers. I mean, there's just no buyers anywhere at all. Look at this. We fell in here. This was Friday. Gap down, fell. Then we gapped down yesterday, rallied. We had a big green bar. We had a green bar at one point, lost it all into the close. Then we closed. Then today we gapped up. This was the morning where I said, we're not going to go higher, but we tried. We tried, tried, tried. And then we fell. For what reason? You could say, I don't know what reason or this reason, that reason. Again, did we fall off a cliff yet? No. So people are wondering, what's going to happen here? Are we going to move up? Are we going to rally all the way up here? Are we going to hold? So far, we're holding. So far, we have not fallen off a cliff. That's true. That's true. We have not. So you can wait and see what happens. But I'm telling you right now, I mean, the last three days are super duper weak to me. Even today in a gap up, I can tell you that I feel like this is weak. Because again, I'm looking at the price action. I'm reading the price action. I'm not wrong. That's how I saw this morning very early on that we were going to drift off and fall and not go anywhere higher. And that's exactly what we did. Not only today, but yesterday too and the day before. So, you know, the market needs a reason to, to rally. You know, we had good data this morning. That wasn't even reason enough. So I think people are really scared about where the market could go. And yes, you got the buy the dippers are going to step in at some point. It may or may not be this week. Don't forget with the unemployment number next week. That could be something that affects the market. It's a week and a half away. But what's going to make this market fall this week? I don't know. What's going to make the market rally this week? I don't know. I know the last two days was a Jewish holiday, so we had low volume in the overall market and a lot of stocks the last two days. New York public schools were closed, but 
tomorrow, we could get back at it again. Something could happen in a gap in the morning. Could be a gap up, could be a gap down. I don't know, I'm watching. But there are days like today where the best thing to do is absolutely nothing. And being strict, there's nothing wrong with that. Take a break. On days like today, do house cleaning. It's a change of seasons here in New York. It's fall just started last week. The weather's starting to get colder. Wore a coat for the first time in months yesterday. So, you know, get organized. Do some house cleaning with your trading. Determine what your risk is going to be. Take a class. I'm at classes this weekend. Get organized. Learn. Get ready for earnings season, which starts in two weeks. Don't waste your bullets. Your bullets is your cash. Don't waste your bullets doing trades that you have no business doing where there's nothing good. If you're interested in my class, again, the class for October is this weekend, October 1st and 2nd. I can't believe it's October. It's like ridiculous how fast this year went. But if you're interested, email me at melissa.thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.